Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the readings. Um, keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading. Um, we're going to take a look at all areas, all other areas of your life. If love shows up, then love shows up. That'll be great. Um, but we're going to see what other messages might be coming up for you in April. Um, so also be mindful some of the messages may or may not resonate or show up for you this month so take it with a grain of salt and uh virgo i was going to use the island time deck to start and as soon as i picked it up it, immediately i could feel the pressure it just flew out of my hands so it, it felt like spirit just kicked it out of my hands and said no I'm not going to use that um so we're going to go i'm going to do some different things here um, but do be mindful also that this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome, okay? So, um, yeah, and if you want to get any personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Um, you can book with Casey at this time, or if you've booked with me in the past, you may rebook again with me going forward, okay? So let's see what's going on for April. Hi, everybody in the chat. Let's see what messages are showing up here for Virgo in April. Other messages. What what random things? Okay, got a couple of jumpers here. Okay, you've got destiny, luck, chance, and a meant to be situation. You also have a short term situation happening here in April for you. And uh, let's see. So you could be connecting with someone. Um, it, this is like a destined kind of connection, but it, it's not going to last. Okay. It just feels like maybe a, a short little thing could be like a little flirtation. Um, uh, it could also have something to do for someone. It could be like a short term trip that you're meant to go somewhere, but it's not for like an extended amount of time. If there was something to be extended going forward in April, it looks like it's just gonna, it's going to end kind of quickly right it's gonna just like if if there was supposed to be an extended weekend kind of thing it, it looks like it's just gonna be maybe a day maybe two days that kind of energy of something that you might have planned or going on but it it does feel like um and also I'm hearing there's like a lucky chance so you might win something <laughs> like um like a winning of some sort but it's it like it's not huge Okay, <laughs> it, it'll be enough that you'll be able to go out and have a good time with it. And that's it's not something you could like bankroll. Okay, for money, at least along those lines. Let me see. Also, um, you could be writing a short story or thinking about doing some short stories or just doing something that you feel destined to do, but you can't commit to it long time, long term. Okay, what else? All right. So you've also got friendship. You could have a new friendship that's showing up here also in April, making some new friends, acquaintances, doing some networking. Um, that's awesome. Let me see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? Other random messages. These cards are like... Okay. So, okay, there's a triangle situation going on here, Virgo. You're going to have to make a decision between one, between two people. Which one do you like better? The one with the dark hair or the one with the light hair? <laughs> you might not have anybody right now, but that might come up for you. And you've also got um, karma, a toxic story, making way for new opportunities. Okay. What's going on with you, Virgo? Okay, fair male. It's a person with lighter. Ooh, this looks like a little love triangle or a little, hmm. All right, so the message you're telling me, the person that you connected with who had the dark hair was very toxic. There, that was like a not a good thing. There is, um, there might be a fair person who um, seems, well, they're not toxic. Someone fair, fair skin, fair eyes, fair hair color. The person with the dark hair, they're saying, um, I don't know, that person's kind of, I feel like the one with the dark hair might be swinging back around your way. Um, and you could be connecting with someone who's lighter that it's kind of like, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> Virgo. Virgo's like, what is going on? Now you gotta like, hmm, there's a decision. 
That's for sure. That's a card about choices. So, okay, Virgo. All right, that's what I'm hearing. And we're going to leave that right there. That's how we're starting it off. Okay, Virgo. So, you've got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Okay, what does that mean? Um, Virgo, um, this is kind of like there's um, there's some stagnancy and possibly some travel issues showing up for you in April. Okay, cards are just flipping out here. Yeah, there's a couple of opportunities that are coming up to you, coming up for you um, in April, but it looks like there might be some kind of a delay in order to, like these are potential new opportunities happening for you in, in career and in something to do with your physical as well but there's a little bit of a delay or you might feel like um you know some it's not happening or things aren't really moving forward in a way but there's also an energy here of um you might feel like you're being punished because some great new potential hasn't happened for you yet i'm saying this with like question marks because i feel like some of you um, might be feeling like, you know, you're doing all this stuff, you're doing, you're putting in the effort and the energy and the hard work and whatever areas of your life. And you might just kind of feel like, what am I being punished? Why am I not seeing these results yet? But they're going to come. That's what I feel for you, Virgo. Um, but I also feel like, um, hmm, that you're definitely going to get some kind of an apology from someone as well. Okay. And it may be from an air sign. An apology or they get caught uh, caught doing something there's an air sign who apologizes to you in April after they get caught doing something so you know could be an Aquarius yeah it's, it is an Aquarius okay um, yeah it's most definitely so that's specific for someone who's connecting with an Aquarius okay them are that that Aquarius is like coming in to apologize maybe trying to have a new opportunity, wants to heal something, friendship, uh, romantic relationship, um, acquaintanceship, um, family member, whomever it might be. And I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like there's like, they're going to try to come in and apologize for something that happens or something that they got caught doing that they should not have been doing. Okay, you've got the page of one. So there's also going to be, okay, so some communication. Um, there's a Virgo in your life who is also um, bringing you some good news. <laughs> it, it feels to, it feels mostly like there's going to be some communication from a Virgo about doing something active. Um or working on some kind of project like the, the page of wands is always an energy of someone who is like very enthusiastic this is like the kid that gets home from school throws their sh their school shoes and their back book bag you know down on the floor puts on their running shoes and gets into their play gear and runs right out the door to go out and have fun with their friends and to do something exciting and it's like i'm free so i, I feel like you're going to get communication from a virgo who has been thinking about um asking you if you want to do something with them okay so yeah so there is uh, something exciting it, it feels like plans or something exciting to do something with them now you also have the queen of swords okay hmm what's going on here oh there's a queen of swords he's trying to push you up push you away i feel like this did this come up recently there's a queen of swords um who's trying to She's trying to tell you that she has everything that she needs and you need to move on, which is really harsh. I don't know if she's, she could be very exact in the way she's saying this to you in April. Like she's saying she's very happy and you need to move on or she's very happy and she's moved on. But I doubt this because she's looking back to see if you're going to chase her 
<laughs> okay, this Queen of Swords, whether it's masculine or feminine energy. So she's, she's, I feel like she's doing this on purpose. She's saying this on purpose. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, I have everything I need. I'm very happy. I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need anything. I don't need that relationship. I don't, whatever. And I've moved on and I'm like starting a new chapter in my life. But, oh, I should have covered this. I'll have to like blot it out. But she's, she's kind of like walking away. You know, look at the, look at her body language. She's like walking away and is you know like oh i'm starting over but at the same time it's like do you believe me do you believe me she's like looking back to see if you're gonna believe it i don't know i don't i don't trust it i don't like that energy that she's got going on there okay i just don't i feel like someone is kind of being pretentious and acting like you know it's it's a very smug kind of energy from this person um they're they're fronting this person's flexing and fronting and acting as if everything's cool everything's fine they're very happy they don't want you but they're hoping that you're gonna like they keep looking back to see if you it, <laughs> they're still holding on it's just bs and so i don't know who that is for you okay like i said it libra gemini aquarius but whoever it is you know that that's the energy of that person and i don't know virgo's like all-knowing because <laughs> like I totally understand I know exactly what's going on but let's see so what do you've got here Virgo so the high priestess is showing up hmm Virgo you got some like secrets and you're not letting them out right now you're pushing back you're being very secretive and mysterious you're pushing back okay oh you're pushing back on a reconciliation that's for sure uh, you're like don't come near me with that <laughs> Virgo um it's like you're kind of like I don't want to hear it I I don't want to hear um Virgo I don't mean that it, it's not like you're being mean or anything I don't feel like it's that it's just kind of like with judgment I feel like I don't want to hear about your clarity I don't want to hear about your wake-up call or your final decision <laughs> and Virgo, it's like, I don't know, you're protecting yourself, maybe, in some ways here as well, from something that gets revealed to you. It, it's like, you find out, or you intuit about something in April, and you're not, you don't want to pay, you don't want to see it. You're just, you don't want to know about it. Okay, what else is going on? Okay, so you're definitely going to be getting a money offer as well, coming in. It's slow, Okay. Um, it could be like a bonus of some sort, but some of you are going to be getting, um, it, it, it's a bit of money news. You might have already received it, um, but there's some kind of like reward, so to speak, for all your hard work that you've put in. Okay. You, so there's some kind of risk that you're going to take as far as work goes, or you took some kind of risk at work. Um, or some kind of financial risk and there's definitely going to be um, like a payout like an offer um, you're going to get some kind of money back for this and it feels like it's it's like a bonus of some sort it'll bring benefit to you okay and give you a sense of, like freeing up yeah okay this is definitely something you're manifesting here you're doing this yourself because a magician's always about like you're turning your visions into reality you're turning your you're turning your um, your beans into gold. I don't know what you're doing. Look at all this gold here. So I really feel like whatever you are you, you, taking some either a financial risk, whatever you're doing, if you've already done it or you will be doing in April, you're going to get a payout for this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Um, and a new start there with the, with the magician. All right. Inspired action. Okay. Now you've also got the tower. All right, what's going on here? I feel like this is a separate message here. What's going on with the tower? Okay, maybe some of you live in an earthquake area. Um, I always feel like sometimes the tower is about weather, but let me see. Oh yeah, they're saying, yeah, it's something about weather. Um, be careful with your, your spine or your back. 
um, you might have some like pain in the back. You might decide to go get some acupuncture, or go see a chiropractor in April and like really start doing that or really go back to doing that as well. Um, because I feel like there's just something here. I'm just picking up an energy of like a little bit of pain. Um, it's nothing real serious, but if with that shock, it kind of feels like, you know, when you like, I don't know, when you pull something or you, you, you bend a certain way and sometimes it just feels like a little shock in your back or something. I feel like it's connected to the spine and I don't feel like you're going to go be paralyzed. So you're going to, you know, like it, it's nothing serious like that. It's just a warning. I don't know if you're doing something in April. Um, I feel like it's a message to be careful with your form, the way you're picking things up. If you're picking up children, if you're picking up heavy boxes or whatever it is that you're doing, make sure that you are picking up and, you know, not bending over, but, but bending down like squatting and using your legs to protect your back if you don't have a very strong back, okay? And, and that's a really strong message there that's coming from that for April. Okay, let me see what else. Oh, okay. Page of Cups. Oh, Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. Okay. Do you have a couple of kids that are fighting? Some of you might be like, you have a child that's like, or a grandchild, or there's a teenager maybe somewhere around you who is kind of snarky, and then the other one is very loving and sweet. Um, but also... There is somebody who's keeping their eye on you or spying on you to see if you're ooh, to see if you're getting any love offers from anyone. If there's any kind of like, yeah, I got the devil here, but I got to kind of hide all their the dinglings and the boobies. But yeah, I feel like there's someone who is not letting you go. And I don't know if that reverts back to who we were talking about before where we saw like a triangle kind of situation, but, or that queen of swords or that seven of swords in the reverse when someone's trying to heal something, but there is someone here who's definitely very much obsessed with you and stuck on you and like, it's very toxic. It's very unhealthy with the way I'm feeling with the page of swords and the devil sitting next to each other. I feel like there's someone who's either they're spying on you, on you or they have somebody else spying on you. They could have their kids or your kids uh, trying to like get information, seek information or gossip. Um, but there, so there is just a person who's kind of like, keeping their eye on you and you may receive something from them. Um, this is a little bit of like wolf in sheep's clothing energy here because it's on the outside, they come in really, really sweet, but like internally they got this devil and this page of swords. So there's something, someone is trying to get some information from you who is, you know, sitting, it could be a Capricorn, but they're sitting in that devil energy, okay, where they're very, like, greedy, they're obsessed. Let me see what this card is underneath here. Oh, it's a four of cups in the reverse. I mean, not in reverse, in the upright here. So, yeah, I feel like your, this person keeps trying to bring in that ace of cups, and you keep saying no, or you have been saying no, or you will be saying no going forward. And you're just like, I don't know, Virgo, your energy is just very indifferent. Um, or looking at your other options, you're kind of like the body language again. You're trying to take care of self. You're, you're like, that's all right. I don't need your hugs. I'll hug myself. <laughs> you, you just definitely are it just like the love keeps somebody keeps bringing it in and Virgo's like nope not even paying attention there's a bit of apathy here um or it's just unfulfilling and somebody's going to come in with like these different gifts or surprise gifts or something like that to try to get some information from you what the heck to spy on you or see what's going on or see what you're doing or what you're up to okay well, that's a positive. So you've got the sun. Let's move on to the next message. Okay. Oh, you've got the sun, but you've got the two of cups in the reverse. Wow. Um, 
All right. Well, Virgo, this looks to me like um, you're going to be very, very happy about a breakup <laughs> uh, or about a separation or um, feeling very, very positive about something that's not working out. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around, right? Um, about maybe, I don't know, there's a freedom with the sun. Okay, Virgo. So it just kind of feels to me like it's like, yay, I'm happy. We're not together anymore. This is success, a joyous outcome. I'm free and I'm happy. Okay. All right. Maybe this is someone that you were married to. Are you breaking away from family? Or um, you're going. So for some of you, this may not be. Um, a bad thing you could be finally moving and you know buying a home uh, maybe it's your first time or getting out of a family situation or marriage or something you've been in and April is like lit up for you for an opportunity for you to like leave you're gonna are you gonna leave the business you're separating from a job leaving a job or changing your career, or leaving a family home, or a marriage, whatever it is, you're separating from something that you've been kind of like had roots in for a really long time, okay? And it looks to me like this is a very positive, successful thing you're going to do here, okay? Um, yeah, I love it. So... It's not so much like, I mean, for some of you, maybe, you know, a divorce becomes final or you finally go into separation from the person you've been with and it's something that you've wanted and, you know, it actually falls through or not falls through. It actually happens and you get your freedom back for some of you that could be playing out here. All right. You also have seven of pentacles. Okay. So let's see here. Hmm. All right, so this is like patience, hard work, delayed success, and waiting. What's going on? Oh, yeah. All right. But you, yeah, okay, then you've got the three of wands in the reverse. So there's a lot of delays, planning, and setbacks going on with something. Tell me what's going on here. This feels like a separate message. Whoa, okay. There's, there's something here that needs to be done. Okay, there needs to be like a complete shutdown of something in your life in order for you because you can't. So I don't know if it's related to the last message or something separate that you need to take. But I feel like the message here is you have to shut something down before you can start something new. The reason why um, you may be ex feeling some delays or setbacks or things because there's some unfinished business that needs to be sorted out in April okay whatever that might mean for you because that's that's that five of swords energy that's kind of like I mean it's a tough it's a tough card um it could have something to do with like a relationship that's not healthy or someone who is um just all they care about is breaking hearts or um hurting other people because he's got three swords in his hand, which represents the three of swords. And the two swords laying down there um, belong to the other people that they must have had. And they were trying to initiate or have some type of conversation with this person um, to overcome some obstacles. And this person just basically is like, no, get away from me. Like very harsh, could be very abusive, very mean, cruel, only cares about themselves. And so this might be something um, or a person that you have in your life that you've been dealing with. And um, I don't know if you've not faced up to them. But it feels like that might be the energy that's playing out here. And because of that, you haven't been able to move on. It, it, or there's delays for you to move on. You either have to face this person or you have to mimic them and get into the energy energy that they're in where you shut them down. Do you know what I mean? Like you cut them off. If, if that's, I don't know who that person is. If someone's acting like that with you, very abusive like that then yeah, you have like, that looks like what you need to do. Okay. Because that person comes with a lot of uncertainty and they seem very inconsistent. And 
I feel like some of you might be kind of like, okay, well, maybe they'll get consistent or maybe something will change. But now it's like, you know what? Mm -mm. My life is on hold here with these delays and setbacks because either this person shut you down and you're waiting for them to reach back out to you. I don't know what your situation is, but you're definitely in contemplation mode and you're definitely getting to a place in April where it's like, I do not see the sun on the horizon with this situation at all. And it looks like you get into, you know, let me just shut them or this these people down because I'm out of it. I'm out. That's it. It's done. Okay. I. That is so crazy. You guys, I just, right when I was shuffling... And it's not crazy because this is what I do. But right when I was shuffling here, before this card flew out, I said, in, I said, w where's the lovers? The lovers hasn't shown up. Well, here it is. <laughs> hiding. We're hiding. We're hiding here. Here you guys. Let me just be that tacky person. I, I, you all like, you, all, you guys all like. <laughs> here you go. Because you know what? I know we got to do it. She's getting a bikini. I'm really bad at this. Okay. And I don't know. What what does he get? Boxers? No, he's going to get a bikini too because he's that guy. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put it on all of them. Although this is like a dry erase, so it's probably not going to last. But anyway... Yeah, so we've got the lovers and we got the emperor. So this is amazing. Um, this feels to me, Virgo, like there is absolutely going to be a love connection you're going to make with someone in April. And it could be an Aries, okay? Um, now this person is older, okay, in age. I don't know if they're older than you or not because I don't know what your age is, but this person is older in age, very mature, very wise um, by day. That they're very in business mode, like commando, and then they're by night they're in commando mode, and they take their little bikini thing off. <laughs> but Virgo, yeah, there's definitely a connection being made here. I feel like this is going to be the person who. Um, this is your daddy <laughs> or your mommy, whoever you want to call him. <laughs> oh, big Papa showing up here, Virgo, <laughs> in April. This is someone who's a caretaker. They love, their, they're a leader. Um, you know, they, they also, and so I will say a couple of things. Like the emperor basically is just comes in like that. I will be your father figure. Put your ton of hand in my... So they come in kind of in that energy, right? Um, and, you know, coming in... If they're in, like, a feminine energy, then they, they come in definitely as a caretaker, okay? Someone that's, like, they got your back. You know what I mean? Like, they're reliable. This is someone who's nurturing, and they love their family, and they care about you know, their kids or their grandkids or their, maybe they don't have any and they're like a great uncle or a great aunt. Like this, just somebody who shows up here who's like a perfect, beautiful match for you, Virgo. And they could be, shown, for some of you, it could be April, anytime between April and June. Um, so I feel like the energy has already started to play out around April 4th. Um up till like June 6th, okay, you might connect with, with a lover here, a deep partnership, a very beautiful, like, definitely, and for others, you're going to be signing some kind of contract, yes, um, going into some kind of business partnership as well, or signing some kind of contract with someone, and this is a good thing, it's above board, like, the person who is like, pushing the paper across the table to you is honest and reliable, and you can trust them. That's the message that I'm getting here. Um, somebody could work in, mil like, they could be in military or, you know, they're, they're like a CEO. They're very, they have an authoritative way about them. So they're, they're kind of like someone who sits in a leadership position. Okay, whatever that might be. Like, they're top notch. Okay. Um, let me just get a couple more cards here and then see what else. I'm going to pull other cards. I don't remember what I did a couple weeks ago, but okay. A couple more messages for Virgo. 
And then tomorrow I'll be back here to do your weekend love reading. Okay. All right. So, Eight of Swords. And Ten of Cups. Oh, somebody's bringing someone a cake with a knife in it to a jail to get out a jail card. Cut them out. Um, somebody here is, this could be you, Virgo. But it feels like um, uh, there's, I, I, so, uh, it's so hard to say. Okay. Somebody's very unhappy in a, they've not unhappy, they feel trapped. They feel very happy in a family situation, but they feel trapped. And I feel, and it could be you, but I do feel like somebody comes in and it's like, all right, here's the skizzers. Just cut yourself out of this mess. Somebody comes in and throws you a bone to help you get out of something that you just feel trapped in. You're not, it's not that you're not happy and it's not that you don't love the people who are connected to your family or connected to, um, it could be a marriage for some of you. Um, it, it, it's like there's people that love and support you, but there's something going on here for you where either somebody comes in and helps you to free yourself from something um, before it gets really bad, or they just bring you a victory crown and say, you can do this. So it's a lot of supportive energy. Okay. And for others, it could be coming from these family people or these people who love you, whomever is in your soul tribe, whoever you define your soul tribe. I feel like there's a lot of people around you also that have your back that really love you and really care for you, um, whoever these people are. And I see in April when you kind of get down on yourself or you feel like, you know, um, you know, maybe some get depressed or you kind of feel like you feel trapped or you feel stuck or you just need some love and, and, and some support, right? Everybody gets to that point and I feel like either these people show up and they, they bring you the crown and, you know, they're like, you can do this, you can do this, we, we're, we're here, we'll help you cut through these obstacles, whatever it might be, um, or it's just like a gift from God, right? That's like your, your, look at, here's your crown here. You need another one. We're going to give you another one because you're doing amazing. I feel like this is kind of like a pep thing, pep, pep you up kind of thing. Um, because you might go through, um, something in April where nothing major or traumatic. I just feel like you just kind of get down and you get this like reminder. Sometimes the Ace of Swords is kind of like a light bulb like an aha moment for me. And it's like, you get this reminder, like, you know what? Things could be a lot worse. And you start seeing the glasses half full, right? You get a little bit of help with that. And so I don't know exactly what that might mean or what's going on. I just, it feels more like an, it's more about the emotions and the thoughts of anything else. Okay. And the communications that come through. All right, let me see. I want to see what your other messages might be showing up here for you. Okay, some of you are moving to a safer area, so you're relocating. Okay, and there might be something. Okay, <laughs> so you've got boom, lightning strikes. A, a lightning strike sends a ripple effect into your life. Things may seem to be in chaos or have been, it may be for the good. After every storm, the washing after every after every storm comes a washing away stand firmly on the ground and know this is all for the best this is about grounding yourself but some of you need to get out of the way of bad storms absolutely <laughs> some of you might have like not even realize a storm sneaks up in you sneaks up on you in april you got to run to a safe shelter run to a safe place i'm not giving you a warning i'm just saying if you get the alert at all uh, you might not get one but if you happen to get an alert of some sort um, don't play around with that, right? I don't care if you got to sit in your basement for an hour and nothing comes your way and nothing happens. Sit on your phone, bring some books, do something, get yourself to a safe place, okay? Um, I don't feel like you're going to get struck by lightning or your house is going to get whipped away in a Wizard of Oz tornado. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, you know, if, if there's a storm coming your way, in April and you're like just you see it on the news or you get an alert on your phone or something and they're like you know 
lightning strike is like a mile away from you seek shelter and you're like no i'm gonna sit out here on my back porch and just i love the rain i love the lightning and then boom no just go in the house for a minute till it passes that's that's the message here like um don't be a rebel <laughs> Don't be a rebel. You've seen one storm. You've seen them all. You can, you can take a, uh, you can take a break and go in the house for a minute. Okay, love offer in the reverse. Okay, from bossy mail. Okay, <laughs> the bossy mail is the emperor showing up here. Um, love offer is in the reverse. Ooh. Ooh, and alone is offered. Okay, but they're both in the reverse. So this doesn't mean they're not coming. This just means that they're going to be delayed from this bossy mail. What? Are you going to be signing a contract with someone and then this person's like, oh, wait, I, I want to I wanna ask for a go out. I want to, like, I'm interested. This is delays. Okay, why? Oh, mixing business with pleasure. It's like, which one do I do? <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> Virgo's like, I know who you're talking about, and ew, gross, that person is 98 years old, and I'm not a, well, hey, sugar daddy, sugar mama, you know what I mean? <laughs> Get a couple of cool million dollars inheritance, I don't know, I'm kidding, it's, I'm not really into that. So, <coughs> Virgo, trust your intuition. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit, wait for answers to be revealed to you. So Virgo, right now, like, you got to start working on this if you haven't been. And you did have the high priestess, so I do kind of feel like you're, you know, you're down with that. You know what's up. Um, okay, new chapter in the reverse. So this is the world in the reverse. This is unfinished business. Um, and I think we were talking about that, right? Um, you have some unfinished business. And, you know, God is trying to tell you, like, ask for more clarity if, if you don't know what to do about that. Because I feel like... You know, he's trying to reveal it to you. And if and like, if you're not, if you're just like, I'm not getting the answer. Sometimes not getting the answer is the answer. And you need to trust that. Okay. Uh, sometimes not getting the answer. Sometimes we're like, well, can you give me a sign if I shouldn't do something? And you don't get the sign. And it's like, oh, I guess God's not hearing me or spirit or like I'm not being heard. No, you're being heard. They're not giving you a sign. You can't ask the universe to give you a double negative. Um, and if you ask if you should do something and they don't give you a sign, it's because they're not giving you a sign to do that. <laughs> right? So I guess it's more along the lines of asking the question, um, uh, you know, what should I do in this moment, right? And then allow that to come forward. Or what should I do about this situation rather than maybe asking so much for a sign? If you're not getting a sign, then say, okay, can you give me some guidance and show me the way of which path or what I should do to handle some kind of situation here with the world in the reverse that um, seems permanent and it seems like it's unfinished and it needs to either be like it's either stay permanently or go in regards to whatever this might be for you okay your career your health a love relationship whatever it might be and also um and wait for answers answers to be revealed to you so also i feel like there could be some travel delays again and maybe some problems um and you may like get to the airport and then find out that there's a delay but they don't tell you why and you start getting upset now they're saying just wait wait and you will find out wait for the answers be patient things things everything comes out in the wash virgo everything I don't care who you are. I don't. It may not come out in the wash in the timeline you want it to come out with. Come out, but everything eventually comes out. You always get your answers, um, and that's why you always have to be patient. Always. All right, you've got the past returns. Okay. Okay. A direct, honest female, who is a real biatch. <laughs> This is a queen of swords in the reverse. And this is someone who's very cold, rigid, dishonest, and tremendously unkind. Uh, male or female energy. So this could be someone that you connected with in the past. And this person is showing up again. 
okay? Direct honest female can be an air sign, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this person, they, you know, they have all the traits of someone who's very insecure, smothering. Um, they have anger, again, with the coldness, um, kind of greedy. This person could be very jealous, maybe even like a, a manipulator, a con artist. Um, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not somebody I feel like you ought to be entertaining. That's for sure. Um, yeah, they, the struggle's not over for them. They're coming in to give you more, some more struggle and to give you like, oh yeah. And, oh, it's not okay. For some of you, it's one person. For some of you, it's two people who, um, are coming back into your life that are just, maybe you thought you got rid of them or they're just starting some trouble. Virgo, um, drama, really just drama. Uh, close the door, change your phone number, keep it moving. Okay, yeah, luck is on your side. The wheel is turning. Keep it moving. Just keep moving forward. Um, karma's on your side for all the good you put out. Coming back around, okay? And your final card that I'm going to do is go no contact. That's it. You need to go no contact with some people, which means, it, I mean, if you want to block people, that's up to you right but it's basically like if this is your neighbor you need to change your route where you're walking if you're walking your dog or your cat or your guinea pig and i don't know what you're doing or you need to just stop responding just not respond as soon as a message comes in from someone you need to just delete it um change your phone number if you need to if you need to move then you need to move if you need to move where you sit in your office or the people that you work with, then do that. If you need to go to a different job, then do that. If that's something you need to do. If you're able to stand there where those people are and just gray rock people and just not show any affection and not give any information, not affection, not show any interest and not divulge any information other than the very surface basics with those people. If you're able to do that, self-control, do it for sure but either way whoever these it looks like two females but it could be two males but whoever they are it could be a male and a female i don't know exactly but whoever they are they're coming in the, in the reverse and they're coming in um to basically just say you know uh well i need to talk to you or there's some more there's some un things we need to but they're coming in with like this struggle energy like they're not i don't feel like they're coming in like peacefully do you know what i mean um, yeah, um, let me see, hold on a second. Yeah, um, so they're saying there's like a lot of paranoia coming from these people and it, oh, it feels so high school. It feels like, hey, were you talking to my friend? Were you talking to my friend yesterday? Cause she said that you said that I said, and it's like, get out of my face with this drama. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. I mean, it might be like online. It could be an online kind of thing. It could be like family members that are just starting some shish. And, you know, whatever the situation is, it's like somebody's just trying. I don't know if their their Netflix series ended and they need something else to do. Whatever it is, that's what they're doing. And you got your orders, Virgo. Just, you know, unless you want to entertain it. Uh, at the end of the day, Virgo, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, if you want to entertain that. Because your Netflix series ended, go for it. <laughs> do whatever you got to do. I, I don't have the energy to just, you know, tell you what to do. And I really just wouldn't want to. I just feel like, you know, if, if, if you don't want to be involved with it, then, you then you know, you just got to block them or just go no contact and don't waste your time. Um, Yeah, so I think that's good. I'm going to end your reading here for the... I don't even know what to call this, just the general messages. So hopefully you get something out of this. And again, I will be here tomorrow for your weekend reading. Please do, do, do put a like on the video. I don't care you guys anymore. I don't care if you don't subscribe. Um, if people subscribe, that's cool. It doesn't really matter what, what's the most important thing to me. Um, here on my YouTube channel is that you guys put a quick like on the video because that tells me that you love me <laughs> and it makes me so happy when I see the likes go up and and like I mean if you don't like it put a thumbs down on the video I don't know can you do that I really never checked 
I don't, I think you can. I don't ever put thumbs down on things, but I mean, hey, it's fine. You do whatever you want. I don't care what you put. Just give it some, give it some love or give it some hate. You don't have to subscribe. But if you want to be a member of my channel and you want to show up here on Sundays in my live stream, you guys, okay, you can get free, you can get readings for me like at the price of a cup of coffee. What is that? Like, well, coffee back in the 90s, like 70 cents, whatever. So you just become a member of my channel. All you have to do is click the join button and it's $9.99 a month where if you split that up between 30 days, I don't know, what does that come out to? I don't have a, cal a calculator, but it's very, very inexpensive. <clears throat> and you can um, unjoin anytime you want. You're not obligated to stay, but you can pop in on Sundays and just be like, hey, I'm here. I want to ask you a question. Can you tell me what's going on with my ex? Or can you tell me, am I going to be married? I'll pull some cards for you. And it's a whole lot of fun. The live stream is on Sundays, 1 p.m. Eastern. And if I open up more, I will let you guys know. But yeah, definitely. I would love to have you as a member. I don't care if you don't subscribe. But do put a like on your way out. And I'll see you guys all back here tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye.